Welcome, dear listeners. First of all, a pleasant morning, a pleasant afternoon, and a pleasant evening to everyone. Where we embark on a captivating journey to the world of literature. I'm your host, Joy Delore, and today we dive into an enchanting realm of contemporary literary masterpieces. Contemporary literary masterpieces have the power to transport us to a new realms, challenge our perspectives, and ignite our imagination. They are the works that define our time, capturing the essence of our shared human experience. Today, we're going to review one of the contemporary literary masterpieces from the Philippines. Smaller and smaller circles written by Avage Batahan. This masterpiece, published in 2002, this crime novel is widely regarded as a significant contribution to Philippines literature. Smaller and smaller circles is set in Manila and follows two Jesuit priests, Father Gosins and Father Jerome Lucero, as they investigate a series of gruesome murders involving young boys from a poor community. The novel explores themes of corruption, social inequality, and the struggles faced by the marginalized communities in urban areas. Batakan's work stand out for its skillful blending of crime fiction with social commentary. It delves into a dark underbelly of society, while shedding lights on pressing issues faced by the Filipino people. The novel received critical acclaim both within the Philippines and internationally and it has been translated into several languages. The main characters from this novel are the two Jesuit priests, Father Gu Sins and Father Jerome Lucero. Father Gu Sins is a forensic anthropologist, is portrayed as an intelligent and dedicated priest who is passionate about his work. He hunted by his own personal demons and struggles with his fate, adding a layer of internal conflict to his character. Father Zin's deep empathy for the victims and his commitment to seeking justice make him a compelling protagonist. While Father Jerome Lozero, a psychologist, Compliment Father Sins with his own distinct personality in and struggles. He is depicted as introspective, wrestling his own doubts and fears. Father Lucero's expertise in understanding the human mind, in his role as a confidant to Father Sins, contribute to the dynamic partnership between the two priests. And the supporting characters in the novel are also well developed, each with their own motivations, flaws, and contribution to the narrative. From the corrupt official to the victims' families and individual residing in the slums, Batacan portrays a diverse range of characters that reflects the complexities of Filipino society. The story begins when the body of a young boy is found in a garbage dump, showing signs of torture and mutilation. Father Ziz is called upon to assist the police in identifying the victim. Together with his colleague, Father Lucero, they delve into a case. As an investigation progresses, more bodies of young boys are discovered, 
all the similar patterns of mutilations. The priest discovered a disturbing pattern that suggests a serial killer is targeting these children from the slums. Two Jesuit priests face various challenges in their pursuit of justice. They encounter obstacles within the corrupt and inefficient law enforcement system, as well as resistance from those who wish to protect powerful figures involved in the crimes. The priest also navigates their own personal struggles and doubts, adding depth to their characters. While investigating the murders, the priest also shed lights on the socioeconomic issues that perpetuate the cycle of poverty and exploitation of the marginalized communities. This story not only serves as a gripping crime thriller, but also as a commentary on the social and political realities of the Philippines. Through meticulous detective work and their determination to bring the killer to justice, the two Jesuit priests unraveled a complex web of secrets and unveiled the identity of the culprit leading to a dramatic climax. The novel is clear and unconventional in several ways like it deviates from the traditional detective story format by placing the spotlights on two Jesuit priests as the main investigators. Then, the plot tackles social issues and shed lights on the harsh realities faced by marginalized communities in the Philippines. It delves into an interconnectedness of poverty, corruptions, and violence presenting a stark portrayal of the systematic challenges that perpetuate crime and inequality. In addition, the plot keeps readers engaged with its careful pacing and skillful incorporation of forensics, anthropology, and psychological profiling. The author, F. H. Batahan, demonstrates a keen attention to details and presents a realistic portrayal of the investigative process, enhancing the overall authenticity of the story. No wonder why this novel became famous to our country, or even international because this novel indicates the real situation in the Philippines. Whether it's about political, social, or injustice, it shows to us how powerful the people who in the possession. They can manipulate everything including the justice. But we're lucky if there is someone who can sacrifice himself or herself just to give us the true justice. No matter what is the consequences that they can get 